Mr. Lars Larsen, thank you for asking great questions on your show. <laughs> and uh, we'd like to ask you one. Do you think that the government should forcefully take money from some citizens through taxes in order to provide goods and services for others? In general, no. Now, obviously, there are programs that the U.S. government has that I think in extreme situations, emergencies, uh, that sort of thing, yes. But in general, it should not be the function of the U.S. government to take money from one group and give it to another group of people. So sometimes you would be in favor of redistribution of wealth. Well, okay, if you take a, take a situation where... Let, let me ask you a, 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 I mean, because a few, when you, when let you me take ask it you that a few broadly, specifics. When, when you take it that okay. broadly... Are you against all farm subsidies? Yes. Are you against foreign aid? No. Okay, so it's okay to tax the American citizens in order to give the money to foreigners? I think that there are times where strategically that's a good thing for the United States to do. I could give you specific examples. Okay. Egypt and Israel is a good one, okay. uh, for example, because we believe that aiding our, our allies and preserving that peace is good for the United States. We, if, if you have a United States uh, uh, security interest there, absolutely. If we didn't give them that money, our security would be in peril with our 8,000... I, uh, I think it benefits us, and, and I'm not <laughs> saying Who's that, going to attack us if we didn't give them the money? Well, I'll tell you what. Iran may take a nuclear weapon, uh -huh. may take that nuclear weapon, put it on a missile, hide it on a cargo ship, shoot it up over the eastern seaboard and cause an EMP that would shut down every integrated circuit on the, on the eastern seaboard and would kill tens of millions of people within weeks. And that would be the end of Iran. They would be committing suicide. It would, but it would also so be, it would be the end of the United that, States yeah. as we know it. Well, I mean, first of all, they don't even have a, uh, an atomic they weapon. They have short-range missiles. They don't have a, and so, but none that can reach the United States. I didn't say that. I said hide it in a cargo container, put oh. it on a ship, launch it over the eastern seaboard and, and they're going to commit suicide they have this uh, yes they, because they, they believe they don't, that love, they don't they, love their power but you got to listen for a moment yeah. they believe that their suicide will bring the return of the 12th imam the yeah, Mahdi. that's why the, all the leadership commits suicide on a regular basis every weekend of i think course, they crazy. never do they're crazy they never they? do no they own they send young men who are delu uh, crazy or they're uh, and you i know, believe they, they i believe, trick these young men to going and do terrorist I acts believe that, but none of these leaders listen, if you want to hear what i have to say Sure. I believe that when they say they want to destroy Israel, the little Satan, and America, the big Satan, I take them seriously. Yeah, but they never attacked, went to war with Israel. Israel will wipe them out if they tried. But okay, let's, uh, let's go back to redistribution of wealth. So should the government protect all peaceful citizens against people that want to use force to take their money? Yes. Okay. Is the government protecting the taxpayers when it forcefully takes their money and sends it over to Egypt? Is it protecting them? Yes. Oh, so I it, believe that they are if, acting if we in the don't, security interests of the United States. If we don't send money to Egypt and Pakistan, we're not protected. In no, other I words, didn't somebody say we're not protected. We, you, no, you, you're, you're, you're twisting things because okay. I believe it enhances the security interests of the United States. To, i got to go back. 